Hi, my name is Jenny Muccelli. I'm a teacher candidate at the Woodrow Wilson Academy of Teaching and Learning. And I've been using the Compass this year for a number of um, settings where I have been thinking deeply about how to better my practice as well as better design for my users, aka my students. The setting that I've found the Compass very powerful has been when we do our clinical debriefs, basically when all of us teacher candidates come together um, during the week where we bring a provocation, so something that happened during our school time placements that is really making us think. And I feel like what it's really helped me do better is collecting really concrete observations of what's really happening in the classroom because the more observations that I give, the better understanding they have of the situation. And then also really intentionally making me think about what matters most about my user. Um, is Are they feeling safe and happy? Are they learning? Um, am I building them towards being independent learners? All of those things that are thrown around as being important. Um, it gives me an organizational tool to think about those things and then think about some ideas I might have and then ending with an experiment that I can then go and try in schools the very next day. Another few moments where I've seen the Compass be a really useful tool has been in when I've thought about designing my space for my classroom. Um, I actually, for my when I was designing my space, use the compass once and found that my observations were really tied to my um, student teaching placement and that I wasn't really thinking about a larger ecosystem of like students and schools. And so I actually collected more observations and recompassed my space design and found that I, um, my, I grew a lot from my first iteration to the second and I learned a lot about how important it is to have as much um, observations about my users as possible and how that really can impact um, my design. I've been mentoring a student this semester from one of the high schools nearby and my role with her is to really mentor her um, through a project of which is up to us to design. And at first that was really overwhelming for me. And then from day one, I just started using the Compass as a tool to design her project. We started out with using it as like, I asked her if she's had any things that she's been struggling with lately. And she said doing her math homework. So we um, compassed around math homework um, for her. And then day two, day three, we did some compassing around the pro um, her project. And it was really interesting to see like all of the, through our observations, like all of the things that seemed to really interest her and all the things that seemed to not really interest her based on her experiences this far and then build principles off of those so that when we came down to determining an idea for her project, we were really grounding in what matters most for her growth and development. Um, and so I feel that if I didn't have the compass, um, my design process and just how I think about things always gets really tangled. Um, I never really know where to put things. And having a simple a structure in place where I can put ideas, principles, um, observations in and then have an experiment to try has been really powerful.